The cast of American Pickers is known for finding treasures inside mountains of garbage. And just like the Pickers themselves, we've scrounged through the lives of Mike Wolf, Frank Fritz, and Danielle Colby, as well as some of their more notable guests. Sit back and enjoy some behind-the-scenes facts from American Pickers. You won't even have to get your hands dirty. They have humble beginnings. The art of finding a valuable item in a pile of junk isn't something that can be learned overnight. It takes years of practice to hone those trashy skills, and Mike Wolf definitely has plenty of practice. His passion for junk started during his childhood, after he sold a bike he found for $5. From there, he began lurking in alleyways and derelict houses, hoping to find anything worth a couple of bucks. He also made a habit of harassing farmers until they let him look through their barns for old bicycles, which he bought for $50 and sold for up to $5,000. Quite the racket. Frank, on the other hand, was a building inspector before he signed on with longtime friend Mike. So while his interest was casual, it hit hard once the show started to film. Mike is an author. There's always the danger that some more curious vocations will become a lost art. Well, Mike Wolf has already taken action to make sure that doesn't happen to picking. First, Wolf penned Kid Pickers, How to Turn Junk into Treasure, a children's tome on how to do what he does. He also started a website with the same name, providing little pickers with a social media outlet and community to keep them all connected. Looks like Wolf's got a little junk army forming. Mike doesn't want to be a star. Despite all the fame Wolf and company have gained since American Pickers captured American hearts, he doesn't think they deserve it. According to Wolf, the real stars are the eclectic characters, like Hippie Tom, Hobo Jack, and Prince Mongo, who allow the Pickers to root through their belongings in search of gold. Wolf goes on to say the viewers remember the people, not what was bought from them. Wolf remarked in an interview with Entrepreneur.com, It's always been an honor that people open their homes and their hearts to us. Quite the honor. Mike doesn't seem to have too many skeletons in his closet. Well, except for this one. <laughs> Frank, on the other hand, Frank Fritz was taken to court. One of the criticisms of American Pickers is that they basically rip people off by buying things cheap so they can sell them for a huge profit. In other words, capitalism. It didn't help when Frank Fritz was sued for allegedly swindling a South Carolina man named Jerry Bruce. The collector needed a polarimeter for a museum he wanted to open. He offered to buy one from the Pickers, since he saw them purchase one on their show. Fritz offered to sell it to him for $300. But after Bruce sent his check, he never got his purchase, nor was the check cashed. Bruce took Fritz to court, and Fritz wound up losing the case by simply not showing up. Ultimately, Bruce was awarded $1,000 for an investment of $0, which is a deal even the Pickers would be envious of. Danielle wears more than one hat. Ever the entrepreneur, American Pickers' Danielle Colby doesn't limit herself to picking through junk. Before she gained fame on the History Channel hit series, she earned a living by working as a burlesque dancer, which she continues to do. But she doesn't just dance. Her devotion to this art form is such that she's also produced a documentary focusing on Tempest Storm, a legendary dancer with a career that spans decades. For a time, Danielle also owned a little boutique of her own, Four Miles to Memphis which was located not far from American Pickers headquarters and is also a former roller derby competitor. Danielle may also be a tax dodger. Perhaps because she has her hands in so many vocations, Colby's had a habit of forgetting to give Uncle Sam his cut of the action. Back in 2013, the IRS informed Colby that she owed just under $6,000 in unpaid taxes from her boutique, and that was just her first notice. Over the next couple of years, she received at least four more warnings. By 2015, she reportedly hadn't paid any of the money she owed, which continued to snowball, even though she clearly understands business. Let's hope her other business ventures are squared away. Hobo Jack is an author too. World-renowned hobo and American Pickers regular Hobo Jack Sophia isn't any ordinary hobo. He's published three books, including the classic Amazing Adventures of the Tramp Prince. In addition to his literary ambitions, Backwoods Jack, as he's also known, fancies himself a musician. Playing guitar and piano by ear, Jack has released five albums. According to his website, since he handles the orders himself, it could take weeks or months for orders to be fulfilled. Get your copies now. Prince Mongo has political aspirations. Though he only appeared on the show once, Robert Prince Mongo Hodges is quite unforgettable, as the residents of his hometown know all too well. I've come to Earth to save the Earthlings. When we met the Memphis resident, he dwelled within a crumbling castle that he called Ashler Hall. As the king of Zambodia, he gave away his castle in 2014 to businessman Kenny Medlin. The only problem was that he kind of already given it to someone else first, resulting in a complicated legal situation. He's also run for mayor numerous times since 1991. May the good spirits be with you! On the way!
People have tried to cash in on Mole Man Ron's fame. Mole Man Ron appeared in one episode of American Picker's first season, during which the guys crawled through his insane burrow, hoping to find some goodies. The purple-hooded Marty Feldman lookalike gained enough fame that someone else attempted to cash in on it. In June of 2011, an ad was posted on Yard Sales Pittsburgh promoting a sale featuring items from the Mole Man's burrow. Mole Man himself wasn't listed as an attendee, but the ad did mention he'd be stopping by from time to time. It's very possible that almost everyone who went to this sale just missed him. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which dark secrets you think the American Pickers are hiding.